Looking after your facility's grease trap is important to maintaining a functioning business. But what is a grease trap? What purpose does it serve? How does it work? How do you take care of it? Keep watching for some answers. State Chemical provides chemical solutions across various industries. And one of our specialties is grease trap maintainers. We know how important it is to take care of your grease trap. And we understand how confusing it can be if you don't fully know what you're trying to take care of. Let's start off simple. What is a grease trap? Grease traps, also known as grease interceptors, are essentially a box that greasy water flows through before entering a drainage system. The grease trap serves to intercept or trap fats, oils, and greases, also known as fogs, so they can't gum up pipes and cause clogs. You may know the common items that will clog your drains, but sometimes you can't control the level of fogs that go down your drain. This is especially true in restaurants, where the number of dishes makes it impossible to prevent some fogs from entering the pipes. Grease traps catch the grease before they can cause blockages down the drain line, becoming a much larger issue. Grease traps are common in restaurants, bakeries, cafes, schools, bars, and any other facility that experiences fog drainage. Usually any facility where food is cooked is legally required to have a grease trap because excess grease going through drainage systems will also pose problems for the city sanitary sewer system. A grease trap will either be located in a metal box under your sink, in your kitchen floor under a metal lid, in the sub-basement under the kitchen, or outside your facility under a manhole cover. How does a grease trap work? Fogs are less dense than water, so they naturally float on top of water. Grease traps use this principle to their advantage. When water enters the grease trap, the water's flow slows down enough that everything from your drain separates into three layers. Grease floating at the top, water in the middle, and solids sinking to the bottom. This way, the water can drain through the outlet while the grease at the top and solids at the bottom are blocked from getting through. Some grease traps also have a filter to catch solids so that fewer solids settle at the bottom of the grease trap. After some time, the solids and fogs will eventually build up to the point of escaping through the outlet with the water, causing buildup down the line, or the buildup can become so thick that water cannot flow through the system at all. To avoid this outcome, you must pump out grease traps regularly, even if you also use chemical maintainers. Chemical maintainers can decrease the frequency of pump outs. Why do I need a grease trap? Grease traps are necessary in any environment where fogs are a common presence. For example, let's imagine that you're the manager of a fast food franchise. Your employees use the designated grease disposal container for fryer oil and dispose of spoiled food in the trash. Why should you need a grease trap? Think about the melted ice cream at the bottom of that Tupperware, or the crumbs in that baking tray, or the last few fries stuck in the fry basket all getting dunked into the sink for dishwashing. Over time, these seemingly insignificant food scraps will build up in your pipes, slowing down your drain and causing clogs. Meanwhile, grease buildup is much more controlled when you have a grease trap, even more so when you regularly pump it and use chemical maintenance to control the buildup. Most of the time, you probably don't have a choice as to whether you have a grease trap or not. However, if you do have one, realize that it performs an important function. For this reason, taking proper care of it will only improve the grease trap's functionality. How do I take care of my grease trap? A cost-free way to better maintain your grease trap is to control the amount of fogs that go down your drain. This means educating your staff on what is and what is not okay to put down the drain, providing grease disposal containers for unsafe items, and being cautious about what goes down the sink overall. This is easier said than done, but if you take the time to learn what is good and bad for your grease trap, it will be cleaner and gather less buildup. Another way to control the amount of fogs in your grease trap is to pump it regularly. This should happen once your grease trap 
is a quarter of the way full, which will usually be every one to three months. You must pump your grease trap in order to maintain it. If you don't, you will experience buildup and clogs, eventually requiring more serious measures in order to repair your drain system. This can be a costly chore, but ultimately it's worth the price if it means having a functional facility. Lastly, you can maintain a grease trap by conducting regular chemical maintenance. This will control the amount of buildup inside your grease trap, and your grease trap will need to be pumped less frequently. Additionally, grease trap pumping companies often charge less to pump well-maintained grease traps. All in all, chemical maintenance combined with regular pumping will cost you less in the long run and will ensure that your grease trap is in the best possible shape. To learn more about grease traps or general drain maintenance, feel free to head over to our website at www.stateindustrial.com and hit the Learning Center button to access our library of informational materials.